Hi there, thanks for joining me on this latest uh, plein air adventure. I'm going to be painting this view here, that you can see behind me today, which is Myler Creek. And uh, yeah, it's a bit grey and overcast, but the sun is trying to break through up there. So we might have a bit of luck with the weather, but at least it's dry. We've had some uh, terrible rainy days lately, just non-stop rain, so I haven't been able to get out, other than for a bit of sketching. So um, yeah, oils on probably canvas, I'm going to start a biggish canvas. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. We've got a white, so I've mixed a mixture of warm white and titanium white. That's the pile for cadmium yellow, which I may use, I may not. That's my lemon yellow. Uh, I've got cadmium red, plenty of magenta still from a couple of weeks ago. It's a big pile that's formed the skin, so I've just pressed it down. Got an Indian red, raw sienna, raw umber, violet, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue today, manganese blue, a bit of sap green, and some ivory black and I've got my dippers which I'm going to put my terps in this one medium in that one and then we're ready to go I like that up there let's just get this mapped out a minute let's see what that looks like over to here we like that there so that's like that just enough of a gap so we can see through and then that runs across and up there's your gap so there's that little hedge there which runs like this so then that tree is actually here so that's no good we've got the creek Running across here, so that, that's not too. No, that's just below the centre. That's lucky. More by accident than design. So the creek runs across like this. Let's just get that. Trying to get that top of the hill in here. Some tree, tree line here. Runs across. The, some trees there, and this one swings down. That nice shape on it as well. Swings down and round. That's the top of the hill. And a field in here. see uh, what I'm thinking there look looking at the view and the, the canvas and uh, yeah I've just mapped it out and I've just put a little uh, wash on the sky so it's got a chance to dry and then when I've had my sandwiches I'll get straight back into it Update. This is the uh, blocking as you've just seen me do. Just what I'm doing really is I'm just covering the canvas, this white canvas, I'm just covering it with some colour. Thin oil paint thinned with turpentine so it dries fast you see. And if there's any areas I feel like they need to be, they've got a bit too thick at the moment, I'll just get the palette knife and just <laughs> give it a quick scrape back all over and that just removes any of that. Uh, excess paint that I want to get rid of. So 
so it just keeps the consistency the paint surface all the same all over just makes it a lot easier to work on as we go forward with this sort of a la prima technique which, which you use with outdoor painting so yeah there's the blocking and so that's ready to start uh, really getting going on there and it's quite cold actually today so I'm not sure I'll get this one finished this might be a two-part one but we'll see how we get on quite nice painting these into the, the wet paint you see because the, the wet paint which is already on there automatically blends and softens as long as you don't overdo it so it goes muddy soften them off I'll drag them down a bit often I paint with the, the metal ferrule of the brush I've noticed more and more they've got a nice ridge across there now I'm going to have to put that in while it's still there them in the yellow it's just off what we've got so that's the top of those some of those clouds are like that Not brighter more defined I think it's time to tackle this area here the earth in the field so I think get some get some paint on here I think Let's see what we've got it's a bit too harsh that's better that's better a bit of cobalt blue in there so I need to just work out where this is in the painting because I think well, my natural reaction or instinct uh, is to have it further across than it really is this point here I want to I want to push it more towards the centre but it sort of needs to sit back right in here and then this needs to swing down it's got a bit of a curve in it that's a bit too pinky purple though and that swings in so I've made probably made that way too big and those colours <coughs> over here then sort of blend into everything else. Just, just get something a bit more like that on there. You've got like a it goes like that. See that's that's all trees. So if that's like that, these trees here are gonna drop in there, it's a lovely colour drop them in like that it's a bit too strong but I like it so around it we can just that's the colour we want around it, that's quite nice actually so that's like ivory black cabin yellow, let's get some white in there so it's like a neutral put a bit of magenta in there just not just to take the edge off the green let's see what that that's what we want around it this sort of color because that's so similar to everything else around there there's another nice tree beside it something here it's probably a bit, a bit more on the green side somewhere around there quite like 
like that. Actually, you know, I haven't looked at that. Quite like that area there. Some of these colours in here. I love that. Uh, really do like that cobalt blue and that Indian red in there. That is very nice. And just sort of neutralise a bit with one of the yellows. Part of the creek here. Like a muddier sort of reflections of, of the woods and then it, this you've got like a dark edge runs all the way along that bit up there when we put those uh, trees in it is it's way off that should be that should be coming right down here the bottom of these that needs to come right down Something like that. I'm going to run that right off the edge actually, I think. I can't, I might, that might be better. some trees there that should really be almost up to there yes yeah, what's happened I've brought them across you see that's what's confusing me I brought them further across so I can include them in the painting so I made that too big as well I right mess some of these bits today with the drawing the drawing side of it made the right mess of it. A little update for you. This is as far as we've got so far. I'm not going to do too much more today because I'm absolutely freezing. My feet are freezing. I'm stood in this uh, sort of wet mud. I've got my boots and everything on, but. Uh, yeah, my feet are getting a bit cold stood here, so I might do another 20 minutes or so. But what I can see uh, is as if quite a few things are wrong and I'm not happy about. I think I need to alter this, bring this into here a bit more, possibly. And then have it swinging out like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to change this angle here and then cut in here. That's the plan anyway. Uh, I'm going to brighten that water look. It's just brightened up quite a bit, bit more now, quite nicely. So I've got to get that in. I mean, I could be here all day really if I wanted to. It was sort of, if it was a bit warmer, more towards sort of uh, May, I might be tempted to stay out all day. Right, better get on. Let's get this uh, angle of this uh, field sorted out a bit better. So I'm happy with it. So I want that. So that's there. I want this to sort of swing. A little bit more like that. And then it does go up though, it does, it does sort of go like that. That's better. Let's try and get another one in. This other one now. That needs to sort of, I made this too big you see. That's, that needs to be higher, That's that needs to go up there a bit more then swing down like that that cuts in and that straightens off a bit then and that runs across and get this blocked in something like that so that that's to there that that runs up drops down right I took that too far across. Let's get that in like that. 
something like that. That's really brightened up. So we can get this some of this on here while it's brighter. Give it a bit of life. And it's dropping over quite nicely over that violety grey we've got on there. So that's work, working better. There's that bit in here as well, I see. I want to make this quite clear. That area there. Let's get a bit more colour on that. This, uh, this bit, trying to get something similar to what this actually is. Let's have a look at this now. Let's see what that... So we want that to come right in here, and that swings up, and that up to there, and that drops. Like that. You can see a little bit of a field, hint of that field there. And really, that end goes up and then starts to come across like that. So there's a little, not much of that field up there. Let's put a few more hints of these hedgerows in before we call it a day. I think we're going to have to, this is one that's going to have to be finished off in another session, I think. Next week. It's just too complicated to try and do this, I think, in one go. And it's, like I said, it's too cold. It's not a tree line that runs off like this, darker one. Something like that. And that one. Something like that. And it needs to be a lot brighter than that. some paint on there. It's because the sun is over there now. It's got brighter and moved across. Now you can see this it's coming through the canvas. Yes, so hopefully we'll be able to make something of this. Once it's dried a bit, make a nice underpainting, I think. doing this size one today. Probably better just doing a small 10 by 8 or something. Let's have a look. I 
Okay, it's as far as we got, and I've decided to call it a day. Uh, feet are a bit cold, and it's sort of like uh, we've been here a couple of hours. I think it needs time to dry, and I need a chance to have a look at it in the studio for a bit. And the uh, sun's got quite bright over there, up and behind. So it's starting to shine through the actual canvas now, so I can't really see what I'm doing either. Uh, that's the advantage of painting onto board, that doesn't happen. Here we are, a bit of a close-up of what's been happening. If the sky was good fun, I really love painting skies. And uh, I just blocked in these areas, <coughs> drawn them out with a brush, and uh, blocked them in as best I could in colours and tones similar to what they were. Obviously the colour of the fielder is a lot, lot brighter, but we'll put that in in the next session of painting. Well here we are, that's the end of the session today. I'm going a bit cold now, so I'm going to head back, uh, get warmed up inside the studio, do a bit of work this afternoon, and uh, I'll be back for another session on this one, and either finish it off in situ or in the studio, depending on the, the weather next week really. I'll give it a nice four, three or four days to dry, and uh, see what it's like, and then uh, decide where to finish it and I'll come back out to the same spot again which is quite nice here actually I do like it and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes thanks for watching bye for now